So today we're going to be learning how to place a PPD test. These are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need an alcohol swab, gloves, gauze, a 1cc syringe, and your tuberculin. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your hands are cleaned. Once they are dry, you can place your gloves on. Next, you're going to take an alcohol swab and you're going to want to clean the top of the vial. Make sure you do this in a circular motion. Next, we're going to take the syringe out of the package. Make sure the needle is on tight and uncap it. You're going to draw uh, 0 0.1 of air. Go ahead and place that needle into the vial and push in that air. And then you're going to draw out the tuberculin 0 0.1. If there are any bubbles, you'll just flick it so you can get the bubbles out. And then take the needle out of the vial. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is ask your patient if they prefer a specific arm. So today we're going to be doing the patient's right arm. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your alcohol swab and clean in a circular motion. We're going to be placing the test on the flat portion of the forearm. Make sure you avoid any veins or hair. So clean in the circular motion. Then take your needle, make sure you uncap and the bevel is going to be facing up. You want to go ahead and pull the skin tight and you're going to hold the needle at about a 10 degree angle. We're going to go ahead and go right into the skin and take that hand, inject the medication. Then you'll slowly pull out the needle. Make sure you recap it. If there's any blood or anything, you can wipe it with the gauze, but do not um, place a Band-Aid over the, the site. Okay, so once you inject the medication, if you do not see a wheel, you can either use the same forearm, but make sure you go about five centimeters away from the last injection site, or you can switch to the other forearm. Okay, so we're going to be using the opposite forearm. You want to make sure that you clean that site in a circular motion. So go ahead and get your needle. Make sure it's facing bevel up. Pull the skin tight again. And make sure you're only at a 10 degree angle. We're going to inject right underneath the skin. Take your other hand and go ahead and inject the medication. You'll see a wheel pop up. That should be about six to 10 millimeters. And then go ahead and take the needle out. If there's any um, blood, you can wipe it with a gauze, but do not place a Band-Aid over it. So once you place the PPD test, you're gonna wanna make sure you explain to the patient that they need to return to the clinic. 48 to 72 hours so you can do the PPD reading. So there's some redness here and the redness is probably 20 millimeters but what we really are interested in is whether or not there's any induration. So in this case, no, it's negative. Okay, let's look over here. Here. So it's probably like that. So what we'll do is 45 degree angle. Let me turn you just a little bit more. So that's about 10. So that's positive.